praise the lord everyone and welcome to the eucharistic celebration the memorial of our lady of mount carmel 16 july mount carmel a promontory in north palestine overlooking the mediterranean is mentioned in the bible as a holy place there the prophet elijah defended the purity of faith against the prophets of baal Carmel became a dwelling place for Christian hermits during the crusades. In 1209, the hermits combined to form the Order of Carmel or Carmelites dedicated to the Blessed Mother who had lived in the contemplation nearby at Nazareth. <clears throat> the Carmelites promoted the life of contemplation and dedication to Our Lady. The Scapula Confraternity wears a special cloth to express self dedication to mary's service the entrance antiphon hail holy mother who gave birth to the king who rules heaven and earth forever In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning everyone and welcome to this morning Holy Eucharistic celebration. Today let's remember and pray for every single one admitted in the hospital. connected with the covid-19 virus and other major serious sicknesses and illness very specially we remember those who are undergoing major minor operations today pause for a moment let's pray for all the sick and suffering through our mother as we celebrate her feast offer our failures our shortcomings and ask the lord pardon and help us to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner lord jesus you have shown as the way to the father lord have mercy lord have mercy lord jesus you have given as the consolation of the truth Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious virgin Mary come to our aid we pray O Lord so that fortified by her protection we might reach the mountain which is Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Amen be seated for readings A reading from the prophet Zechariah. Sing, rejoice, daughter of Zion, for I am coming to dwell in the middle of you. It is the Lord who speaks. Many nations will join the Lord on that day. They will become his people. But he will remain among you, and you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. But the Lord will hold Judah and his portion in the holy land and again make Jerusalem his very own. 
Let all mankind be silent before the Lord, for he is awaking and is coming from his holy dwelling. This is the word of the Lord. Our response, O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. A response, O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carry the Son of the Eternal Father. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. A response, Hope, Mr. Virgin Mary, you carry the Son of the Eternal Father. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear Him. He puts forth His arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. Our response, O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carry the Son of the Eternal Father. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. A response, O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carry the Son of the Eternal Father. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. A response, O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carry the Son of of the Eternal Father. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are they who hear the word of God and keep it. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was speaking to the crowds when his mother and his brothers appeared. They were standing outside and were anxious to have a word with him. But to the man who told him this, Jesus replied, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven, he is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear loving brothers and sisters in Christ, as we have the memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, the word of God that we have just heard is connected with doing the wish and the will of the Heavenly Father. Jesus said towards uh, his disciples and the people of God, who is my mother? Who is my sister or brother? Then he added, Anyone who does the will of my father in heaven is my brother or sister and mother. An invitation for each one of us today, especially at the tough time of this phase connected with this pandemic, Jesus invites again to do the wish and the will of our Heavenly Father. So today, take it a point to complete and take this word seriously into each one of our personal life. How can I complete and execute the will of God in my personal life? It depends on each one. But one thing is sure that Jesus said, 
only when I complete the wish and will of my Father in heaven, truly I will be the brother or sister or mother of Christ. The best example, Our Lady, a mother, she completed and fulfilled the will and the wish of the Father. No need to explain everything as we all know very well from the birth of Jesus to the death of Jesus. Whatever that she heard through the angel Gabriel till the last moments, even though she could not see everything through her eyes exactly what is going to happen, but she believed and she was trying to fulfill the wish of the Heavenly Father. Again, Jesus. In his life throughout the four Gospels, we read the close contact with Jesus towards his Father. Always eagerly and ready to fulfill the wish and will of Heavenly Father. That is why even though Jesus personally was about to undergo that big torture and suffering at the Garden of Gethsemane, his prayer was, Remove this cup, but not my will, your will be done. Dear loving children of God, it's not easy to fulfill the wish and will of the Father due to our own struggles, everyday struggles. But again we come to know there is no other place to go, there is no other pers person to worship. So come back to God once again. As the alternative reading is given, Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come to me, all who are carrying heavy burdens, I will give you rest. Let us try today to fulfill and execute the wish and will of the Father on each one of us. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, walk of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, the walk of human hands, it will become a spiritual dream. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. Grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. 
especially as we celebrated the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even earth ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the order of our salvation, your Son Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, all the saints, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, be my merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. A 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, and of the living and of the Father, work of the Holy Spirit through your death and us. Free me by this, your Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be put Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. For everyone who are not able to go to church today physically, this is your time of spiritual communion. If you wish, you can close your eyes. Join with me when I recite this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God.